Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the new features in iOS 14. I'm going to be showing you about 20 of them, so I'll just try to run through them as quickly as possible. Let's get to it. Before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, or even if you've been watching my videos before now and you are yet to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button and also click that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. The first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is widgets, which is probably like the most obvious visual change you see in iOS 14. So to find widgets, of course, you slide left this way and these are the widgets. I have my smart bulbs and all that here. This is a new one. I think it's called smart widgets where, you know, it scrolls through your pic. Oh, that's a bad picture. <laughs> and it gives you some suggestions and, you know, it just tries to be smart and sometimes it's really good. However, the interesting thing is now you can add widgets to your home screen. So these are all those widgets. I want to show you guys the clock one in particular, different sizes also that's new. So add widgets. So now they don't have to be stuck on your widget screen. You can just long press and add them amongst your apps. And I like that animation there. It's really nice to see that now you can add widgets to your home screen and you can get creative with it, really bring out the things you need, the widgets you need and, you know, increase your productivity. There's a new feature called the app library and that can be found when you slide to the right at the end of your last app screen. It's basically your apps arranged categorically and as you can see there, we have suggestions recently added and if we keep going travel, etc. If you have an app that you don't use a lot and you don't like seeing it in your app drawer, instead of uninstalling it you can long press hold this delete app and then instead of delete app you move to app library and it goes away from your um, home screen and you know goes to the app library i showed you guys earlier now also in ios 14 you can choose to hide entire pages and you know do that by pressing and holding any of the apps let them dance hit this dark area here and you can hide as many pages as you want so I'll just do that quickly and you know, done. And here you see I have just one app page. I guess it could be useful if you want to hide a couple of apps on your phone and you know, just put all them on one page, then hide that page. Now Siri doesn't fill your screen anymore. Hey Siri, as you can see, just uh -huh. appears little there. What's the weather like? It's currently partly cloudy and 28 degrees. Yeah, so it Expect just shows. Cloudy skies starting tonight. Okay. Temperatures are heading down from it's okay. To Minister, off your mic. <laughs> so uh, now it just shows you the results somewhere here and it doesn't take up your entire screen anymore. Next, I'll show you guys something really small. However, I thought it was worth mentioning. Now, if you copy something and you paste it somewhere, you get a notification saying Twitter pasted from Google Keep. It just gives you a notification showing where you copied it from and where you are pasting to. The next thing I'll show you guys is invoice and data under mobile data in settings. Now, when you turn on LTE, you have the option to toggle on and off voice over LTE. So I think that's really nice instead of putting it here. I had a problem with that. The next feature I'm going to show you guys is an interesting one. It's called back tap and can be found under accessibility, touch and back tap. You can choose what happens when you double tap the back of your phone or triple tap it. As you can see, I have it set to take a screenshot on double tap and turn off the smart bulbs in my room on triple tap. So I'll just show you guys that double tap screenshot feature right away. It works pretty well. It just takes some muscle memory to really know how to tap it right and <laughs> tap it right. And if you select it, you can see that you can use it to do a lot of things. So it just depends on what you really want. Next, I'll show you guys is something small. However, I thought it was worth mentioning. If you go into clock here, alarm. Yes, I have an alarm set for when the stock market opens every day. Money is very important. If you want to add a new alarm, you have this new scrolling way of setting. I don't know. It's nothing big, but I mean, it's a little thing. So I really like that. Now also when you want to manually set your dates, it looks different. I mean, nothing big, but it's just what's mentioning. And we see that scroll thing here also. Next on the list is something I feel like a lot of people have really needed for a very long time. So now when you receive a call, it doesn't fill your screen anymore. It just pops up at the top from here. Yes, so you can choose to take the call or if you feel like you're very important, you're not worth your time. You can just choose to slide it away and whenever you want i guess if you change your mind you can also bring it back 
No, it doesn't have to stop whatever you're doing. So that's very, very good to see. Now in iMessage, there's something called inline replies, I think, which is basically just quoting messages like you have on WhatsApp um, using this our very lovely conversation between John and Jane. Um, I don't know, you guys can learn a few things from them. Now you can long press and reply a message. And when you do that, you just say, hi, I guess. It appears in this way. It shows you that you are replying to this message. And when you do that for a couple of messages, it turns into something like a mini thread. So if you open it, you see like the replies to particular messages and all that. It's really good and very, very useful. Now also you can mention people, especially useful in group texts, like as I have John here, I can just mention John. And as you can see, if I select John, it does that little animation. And when I send it, it really shows that, you know, I am saying a particular thing to John. I forgot that my Wi-Fi wasn't turned on here. So I've done that and the messages are going in. Also now you don't have to go into threads to know when someone is typing. It shows up right here and you know that they are typing even without opening the thread. That's really good. What do these guys want? <laughs> now also, if you have someone that you talk to a lot, maybe your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, wife, husband, whatever, you can pin their thread at the top and you can always access it from here you know having all your other threads down here now finally on ios we have picture in picture mode and i'm going to show you guys that real quick um i'm getting a video call on facetime from john doe and when i answer that now you guys can see my mic there so while on the facetime video call and i want to do something else I can just minimize it, keep it anywhere on my screen and keep doing whatever I'm doing. Also, you can reduce the size, increase it or, you know, go back into the video call. Really, really nice for productivity. Now in iOS 14, you can take more control over your privacy. In this case, knowing if an app is actively using your camera or your mic. So if I launch the camera here, you see a green dot there. I don't know if it's very visible. You see that green dot there showing that an app is currently using your camera. And if I close that and come to our control center here, you will see that camera used your, well, camera recently. And now for the mic, hey Siri. So instead of the green dot, we have this amber dot or something here. And also the same thing, if you come here, you see Siri used your mic recently. So that's really, really good in case rogue apps are, you know, using your camera or mic. Now as for saying, we have some really interesting features for the AirPods, especially the AirPods Pro. Notification here showing you that the AirPods Pro has been connected. Also, when you come into the control center here, you have this new special audio thing, which is kind of like, it creates a surround vacuum or something over your head and when you're watching movies and you know doing stuff watching videos especially it's really nice it sounds really really good there's also been a lot of changes to the apple music app so many of them i can't even cover them in this video but the most obvious one is that the icon has changed to start with and if you launch it straight away you know that it's different and you know there are so many features there i might cover it later but yeah, I've not even subscribed to my Apple Music. I've been using Spotify. So anyways, guys, that's been the video. As you can see, I'm rocking this camo, beautiful camo case from Poetic. They sent me a couple of cases. I'm making those videos very soon. And it goes well with my rugged unibody watch band from Spigan. I might as well be in the military. Is it too late to apply? I'm going to leave links to this watch band and this case in the description. So definitely check that out. If you like this video or you learned something new, definitely smash that thumbs up button. It helps me a lot. If you loved it and want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.